So please uh, share your screen and uh, we shall start uh, the session. Huh? Sure. So I have started the recording the session. Huh? Okay, okay, go ahead. Uh, your screen uh, right now we see your screen you can see my screen now <laughs> yes yes okay um, you have already welcomed the um, uh, the team mommy yes yes can I proceed yes go ahead yes okay so uh, let me first of all greet all of you uh, from wherever you are, it may be morning, maybe during the day or even the evening. Receive my greetings and uh, you're very much welcome to this session. So this one is the is the f following our our uh, the, the schedule that we had here today. We are going to do the installation of the Frappe framework. That's where we are going to start, and then we are going to see whether we can uh, we can look at other items on our list. So um, I recognize at this point that um, there's someone who has an echo. Mommy, please mute. Yes. Thank you so much. So uh, I recognize that we are using different OS uh, types. Some of us are running on Windows. Others are running on, uh, on, on Linux. Others are on Mac. So the demo I'm going to do today is for, 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 for Linux, and that is Ubuntu specifically. And I have installed Ubuntu 20. So that is what I am going to be using. But if maybe for some reason you are stuck, because I have worked on this one for some time, and seems like uh, the, the different OS types have different issues when you are installing, especially when you are getting started. Uh, feel free to to reach me out i'm going to help you on an individual level on how to get everything set up so uh to make sure that uh, this is very successful i wrote a blog post that we are going to be using uh in this one we have all the commands that we may be needing it's on code with karani uh i'm going to request mommy later after this uh to share the li the link with you as he will be sharing the the, the the video with you also and then you are uh, you are you are going to see the steps that you are going to be taking if you we, you are preferring to maybe use windows maybe you may be needing to have um to maybe install a um a what you, you you may need to to install it on on a virtual box and then you run it from there we are going to see how we are going to help you with that so today, because uh, I am working on a machine where I have been uh, developing ERP Next, most of these things may, may already have been installed. But the way I have structured them, there is some simple description, and then there is the command that, that you are supposed to run, and that is going to run smoothly. But again, just for your information, if maybe you encounter an issue, please do not hesitate to reach us, and we are going to help you with that. So I will go straight to... Um, when you get to this point, installation of MariaDB, uh, MariaDB has some so it requires uh, specific uh, guidelines of how to install it. So I have written this other blog post. If you click on this one, it's going to take you to this place, which, uh, let me see, let me see code. If you come to the blog post here, should be the first thing, MariaDB. I'm going to check the link, why it's not working. There is some very specific uh, ways of how to install MariaDB without failing. So everything is, uh, is listed out here, and I have also given you the screenshots of what you expect to see when you run any kind of a command that you are giving. So what I would like to emphasize here very strongly is this point when you get here, you have already installed your MariaDB, and now you, are, you want to set it up for ERP next. This part is very critical. 
what you are supposed to do is after you have uh, you have opened your uh, my dot con file for editing this section of the code should be added somewhere in this file L let me just open this file for you uh, so that you can see okay so you can see uh, here Karani, can you uh, zoom out uh, screen because it's very small okay sure One second. Yeah, it's good. Good, like this. Yes. One second. It's fine, uh, Karan. Yeah. It is fine, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's clear. Okay. So what I was it's saying. Clear. All right. All right. What I was saying is this part of the code. Uh, what happens is you find my SQLD here. If you put it, for instance, like uh, just before anywhere. Uh, like here like if you came just came here and decided to put it here what is going to happen is that uh, it is going to pick the code that we have pasted for instance this one and it is going to try and run it against the code that will be below here so if you you came for instance d down uh, there at this point and put it here it's going to try and run all these other commands as if they are part of the uh, my SQLD command which is going to fail so what you are going to do make sure that where you are pasting this code is immediately uh, below everything else that you will be having on your code so for instance if we put it here that is going to run without a problem so so my my sorry, sorry about that so my recommendation would be if you are have, having to paste this code make sure you have put it at the end of your file make sure you put that at the end of your file again if you ha encounter issues with that please reach us out so having said that this is nginx setup what i'm going to be doing now is uh installation of bench that's okay and then the next thing we are going to be doing we are going to be starting from this point today this is where we are going to initialize our ERP Next instance. Uh, we are going to cre be creating a folder called ERP Next. This folder, you can call it whatever you want to call it. For instance, uh, for our case today, we are not going to be calling calling it ERP Next. We are going to be giving it another name, maybe something like, um, like Frappe Training. We are going to be calling it Frappe Training. So let me pick this, this code now. Switch to my terminal here. I can, I can leave this. So quit. And what I'm going to be doing here, uh, we are not going to be editing to be running your Next as the root user. What we are going to be doing is that we are going to be running this as a bench user. So I can say sudo su, and then my bench user is called your Next, and I am already logged in as your Next. If you look at this one now, it has switched to your Next. It was currently before, and then from here I can cd into the opt directory that is where i have put uh, my files and then i'm going to go into bench and when you look at this i have a number of uh, apps installed and this is where i'm going to be adding one more app for our use today so again let me go to my uh, to my blog here i'll pick this code and then i'll bring it here i'll paste it and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to be changing the name of our app to frappe uh frappe training i can call it that or i can just call it training let me just call it training and then what this thing training so this is bench you need training and then of course you did to that training so that we are in that directory and when i enter that what is going to, to happen here is that frappe is going to go ahead and fetch everything for me that i need and then it's going to put it in this directory so we can we can we can hold on as we as that finishes so if you had already maybe set up your machine for for development maybe you can you can do this now with us Karani. yes mommy your voice uh, break uh, just uh, 15 seconds was breaking and uh, 
sorry to interrupt you if you start from step one what we should do in the step one in the installation so step step one you mean all the way from the beginning no anything people here some people they don't know from where to start okay so uh th that is uh so the first thing you are supposed to do of course is to set up your machine uh, i have put out all those things on this blog post i don't know whether this will be sufficient or do i need to go through each of them see they have linux installed like yeah. 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 actually we could hear you all uh, all all along uh, maybe the problem is at the mommy's place but uh, we could hear you we could follow you on no annual setup not uh, easy install right sorry on the manual steps or easy uh, install uh, no, I have not d done the easy install. This is the this is the manual install because this is uh, for developers. The easy install mostly is for is for people who are not technical. So this one is for developers who want to have everything within their hands. Everything is set up in such a way that you are able to to manipulate it to uh, whatever you wanted to do. So this is not the easy install. This is the this is the the manual install. So where you set up everything yourself. Can we carry on? Yes, go, go ahead, go ahead. Great, uh, great, great, great. So if, if, if you look at this now, we have a success message here and our instance has been initialized and actually we have been moved. We have been already taken to that directory. So if I go out and list this directory, we have one more directory here called training. So let me go back to my training directory and then I go back to my blog and the next thing that we see here we are supposed to do, we have done this, is now to create a new Frappe site and install ERP next. So what you are going to be do, running here, we are going to be running this command. This is bench new site. The new site command is used to create a new site. This one you can specify the name of the database that you want to use. So you don't have to leave Frappe to, to give you a default name. If you don't do this, Frappe is going to just give you give your database a default name, which is going to be a long string that that, that really has uh, doesn't have a specific format. So if you want to give your database a name that you can remember quickly, this is how you do it, and then you give a name here, and then this is the name of your site again. So uh, we are going to be exploring this more when we will be finishing in the advanced uh, series, where we are going to be seeing how you are going to be setting up your multi-tenancy. But for now, we can give this site to whichever name we want to give it. So let me copy this, 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 this command. Go back to my directory here. I can clear this so that you can see well. And then I paste. And then I'm not going to be calling my site this. And also my database is going to be called uh, uh, training. Let me call it training. And then I can call my site uh, training. Uh, let me call it frappe dot training this uh, we are going to be exploring this further so i want i want at this point to switch to my to php my admin uh, i have set up my computer in such a way that i am able to access php my admin uh, we can also help you with this setup at an individual level so these are the databases i have so you see now for instance these three databases i have at the end here these ones uh i left frappe to give me the name of the database and you see the kind of anime it gives. So right now you can see here we don't have a database called uh, training. We expect that after we have uh, finished, after we have run this command, we are going to have a new database here, which is going to hold all our tables and the name of that database should be tr uh, training. So let me go ahead and run that command. And what this thing asks me is for uh, my root password for MySQL. This one will be set up, you are going to be setting up, setting it up when you will, you will be installing uh, MariaDB. So my password right now 
is what I have provided and what this thing does is it goes ahead and uh, initializes my frappe and continues to install it so again we can give it a few minutes to finish a few minutes to finish what it is doing maybe you, you can, questions can come if you have questions so this one finishes If you have a question, uh, so you can, uh, if something not clear or something. Okay, so uh, le let me proceed. Uh, Frappe has initialized this thing, and now here they are requiring me to enter an administrator password. This administrator is a user. This user is going to be created in your database. And now this user is the, the default user, the default uh, admin, admin user, like a super admin that you are going to use to log in uh, to your instance after it has installed. So the password that you are going to be, to be providing here, be very careful. Because if you forget it, it may be difficult to retrieve it. So you can just give a simple password. Like for instance, for my case, I'm just going to do a simple one. And then I, re I retype it. And then it is going to go ahead and create that site and that is done so if now i come back to uh, my uh, php admin here and refresh i th there is a database here called training and if you open that database it has a number of tables you can see th these are these are like how many these are approximately 220 27 tables remember this is just a frappe that we have installed if you come to our documentation here this is just Frappe. So these tables that we have here, 200 tables, are for Frappe only. When we install your IP next, it is going to update our database here, and it's going to add more tables. So at this point, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open an a, a editor. I'm going to be increasing the font. Uh, let me do that so that you're able to see what I'm doing. And then what I'm going to... Someone wants to ask something? Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm, I want to open that code, uh, the, our instance here on an editor, so that I show you, for instance, where 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 our sites went. You see, they, they say that we created here. I want to show you where this one went. So uh, I can go to my code editor, and then I open uh, a folder, this one already is opening in my uh, bench directory, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on uh, training and then open it. And here, if you go to the sites directory, you see that we have a site here called frappe.training. So this is the site that we just installed. So we are going to be seeing a, a number of things here, but at this point, I just want to look at this site config uh, JSON file. Here we have a few things. We have the DB name. This is the database name. This is the database password. And this is the type of, uh, of our database. And of course, you know, at this point, uh, yeah, Frappe comes by default uh, with the MariaDB database. So this is what, what it has right now. After some time, we are also going to be putting here the ability to enable developer mode. I'm going to be showing you that maybe in this either in this series or tomorrow. A either today or tomorrow. I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So the next thing we are going to be doing, uh, following our, our our blog here, is to get the app. So what this command does, I have explained it here, is uh, to get an app from GitHub, uh, from ERP Next Insta uh, GitHub repo, and put it into our uh, into our instance. So right now we are going to copy this command, and we are going to run it uh, against this. So what we are doing at this point is that we are getting the ERP Next app. You remember in the introduction video that we had sometimes last week, I pointed out that uh, ERP Next is built with uh, apps. Everything is an app. So uh, everything that we are going to be doing is going to be doing in some kind of an app. For instance, ERP Next is an app that is built on top of Frappe. So that is where you want to first of all get the app and then we are going to install it on our site. So in this series, what we are going to be doing later is that we are going to be creating our own app that is now outside of ERP Next. 
and then we are going to be installing it also on our site and that is the, the app that we are going to be doing all our customizations so i hope i'm clear there ERP Next is an app that runs on top of the Frappe framework. So let me now get the get, get this code. Uh, get up ERP Next. Yeah, that's okay. You don't need to change anything there. So come back here. Right click and paste. And just click on go. And this thing is cloning. You can see it's saying cloning into ERP Next. So what we expect this thing to do, if I go back to my code here as it does its thing, is... Uh, you see at the at the root level of this uh, our training uh, instance we have apps directory so what this erp next has not been here this one has been created sorry sorry about that the uh, the erp next uh, folder here is an app that has been created by the command that we just ran here and now it is installing our app so we can give it a few minutes to do whatever it is doing. Question. Yes, please. Is there an easy way to remove the warning about Bench being installed in uh, in detail, editable mode? Yeah, you can remove. You are talking about this, right? Yeah, the yellow warning. Yeah. Yeah, that one can be removed, but uh, it should not be. It should not worry you because uh, the the reason why Bench complains is because of how I installed it. So uh, if you if maybe you want to avoid that error, that that warning on your code, maybe maybe we can we can we can explore we can exp you help you explore how to do that. But this is nothing to worry you. There's there's really nothing there. Yeah, it's really only on my develop development machine. I don't want to to this to pollute my my log so if it's possible to remove it because every command we run we get the, the, these uh, these lines added to the log so sure sure we, we are going to help you do that Uh, you are uh, right now you are installing uh, 12 huh? by default it's uh, 12 no, 12. no 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 it is 13 uh, the reason is the reason is what happens when you run this command uh, the frappe will go into erp next let me show you uh, erp next git erp next github so what's going to happen is that it will come to this repository in GitHub and pick whatever branch is the head. So so right now it is picking from the develop branch of uh, ERP Next, and the develop branch is of course on in, in, in version 13. So it will by default pick version 13. Can we carry on? Yes, yes. Great. So the next thing that we have, we, we, we just ran this command and that has been successful. We can see here, it's telling us it has been done in 7.8, uh, 7.78 seconds. So the next thing that we are going to be doing now is to install the ERP Next app that we just acquired from uh, GitHub into our site. Now here there are a few things to, to note when you are copying this command. This site is supposed to be the, the name of the site that you installed. And of course, this is now the ERP next instance. So here, the only thing you're going to be changing is the name of your the name of your site. So I can just copy this command as is. And then let me clear this so that you, you have room. And then I paste it. And then I need to remove member to change this to the name of my, uh, my site. I think mine is Frappe Training. We can just confirm sites yeah then this is frappe training so the next thing i'm going to do here is just to click on return or enter and then it's going to start to start installing uh erp next on my site this this will take a, a few more minutes so we can we can allow it to do that and the next thing that we are expecting now after that uh, that that is that we are going to be seeing the number of tables on our instance here move from 227 to 900 and something 
So all the tables that ERP Next is using to run are going to be installed at this point. Correct. Yeah, my instance is tr my, my, the name of my instance is training. Your bench, your bench, like Frappy bench, your uh, your your bench folder. Yes, it's training. It's called training, right? Yes, you are right. So from here you start to put command bench and command. Usually you start by bench. Sorry. And your 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 command is bench and something again. Like here, you put bench side uh, to install uh, the application in your side. Mm -hmm. So your your bench name is training. I don't I don't think I get your question well. My bench By name is training. Way. Yeah, yeah. By default, sometimes in the default uh, installation, they call it Frappy Bench. Oh, yeah. The oh, bench. yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get Frappy you. Yeah, bench. mine is training, yes. Yeah, so your bench name is training. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. So go ahead. So All right. every time you have to, put, to go in this folder to issue a bench command. Correct, correct. What's going to happen if, for instance, I was in my root directory like this, uh, I need to go where I installed my bench. So my, in my case, it's OPT and then bench. Mm -hmm. That is why I have all my instances. If I list them, you can see here that I have a number of instances that are running. And the one that we are working on right now is this one. This one is uh, for the purposes of this training. That's why we just called it training. So for, for me to be inside this one and uh, actually build on it and maybe see how it is doing, uh, work on it, I need to CD into training. And then I can go ahead and start doing everything at this point. So the next thing that you are going to be doing... Uh, Okay. So um, le le let's let's now refresh our our PHP my admin and see whether these tables are going to go up. Uh, you can scroll down. And this one has just added by two fifty. The other tables are going to be added. Uh, uh, are going to be added when we actually uh, execute bench start. You're going to see what is going to happen when you do that because you see the next command is bench start. Bench start is going to uh, actually uh, open up our instance that is going to start running it. So when you get to this point as a developer, most of your work is almost finished because you want to re uh, this thing to remain maybe on a port. But if you want it to run on, um, on maybe port 80, you can proceed with this and then it is going to do the rest of the work for you. But for the purposes of this training, I want it to remain on a port. Uh, so we are going just to go ahead and run bench start. So bench start. And then this is supposed to start our bench. And this is going to also give you the port at which it is running. So in, the, in our case, we can, I can see it is on port 8006. So right now, if I come to my... Actually, even if I click on this, it's going to open uh, this application on this port. This is, this is a public uh, IP. So if I come here and uh, do 127 and then in this one I do 06. So this is localhost and then my port is supposed to open. And remember the administrator password I told you not to forget. So if you forgot it, at this point you are going to get stuck. So I'm going to give mine, to issue mine to the application and that's a success. 
and what I'm expecting now is a screen which allows me to set to start setting up my my instance so up here you can see that I have like one two three four five six stages this this shows that we have ERP next on our app as, as one of our apps if you did not have ERP next and you saw yeah, you saw three dots here when you run the, running this just stop and go ahead and install your Pinex because if you see only three dots here what that basically means is that the only thing you have is Frappe but in our case we have uh, we have uh, six so we can go ahead and here you can change lang the language if you want to change so go ahead this is just a wizard I can select a country I don't know which country are we going to be using here mommy which country do we use Okay, let me select Tunisia. Okay, and then I can click on next. Full name, uh, I can give um, Geoffrey Karani. Email. This one you are going to give your, your, your personal details. And then this is a user. By the way, this is another user that we are now creating. Remember we had an admin user. This is another user that we are creating in the system. So I can also give them a password. Let me see. That's the password. And then I click on next. And now at this stage, what, what this thing uh, is asking me to do uh, is to select the domains that I want to run in my application. Remember again in the introductory video, we mentioned that ERP next has a number of domains. Some of them are not here. You can see that we don't have a HR here. We don't have accounting here and so many others. Uh, it is because those ones come as core domains or, or core modules in ERP Next. So uh, they, don't, they don't include them in this list. And then down here, we can see that we have agriculture, we have healthcare, and we have nonprofit. These are domain specific. So again, if you are running any of these, you can just select it and move ahead. So at this point, even if you selected one domain and decided to go to the next screen, this is going to, going to go ahead and uh, initialize that, that for you. So in our case here, we can, because we want, maybe we want to test a lot of things. As we go along the training, we can select everything and move. So I click on next. And then here is the company name. We can call this, uh, what? Uh, ERP next training. Here you are going to be giving you a company name. The abbreviation is going to be provided by Frappe by default, but you can change it. If you have a company logo, you can attach the company logo here. We don't need to do that at this point. Then click on next. And then here, uh, the system just requires you to tell it what is it that your company does. You can say, uh, maybe ours just does training services. And the bank is, um, we can give whichever name. I'm just going to do World Bank. And then for the purposes of your accounting software, uh, because this is basically an ERP, which includes uh, accounting in, in it, you require to set up some few things here, like uh, like your fiscal year, financial year, and stuff like that. So if your year does not start in January, uh, you, can, you can change these details appropriately to suit your needs. Then you can click on complete. And what this thing is going to do now is to go ahead and finish the setup for us. So we can give it one or two minutes to do that. Karan, uh, can I ask a question, please? Sure. Uh, here we, we are configuring uh, our uh, site web. Uh, that's it? Yep. Sorry? Here we are uh, configuring our site. Mm -hmm. no, not uh, uh, ERP next uh, file, uh, something like that. Um, well, the, the site we are configuring, the, the site that we installed, in this case, I'm talking about uh, the Frappe yeah, yeah. Sorry. The, the Frappe training site, the app that we have uh, gotten from GitHub, the ERP Next app, has been installed now uh, in the Frappe training site. So if, for instance, we check this uh, for file here called apps.txt, you see that this site has uh, two apps installed. The first app is Frappe and the next app is ERP Next. So at this point, Mami, to answer your question, we have actually not created our custom app. We are yet to do that. 
all we have done is install get go, we have taken frappe and we have taken erp next and we have installed them on our app so that we can get all the functionality that comes with erp next and then if we need to customize that we what we are going to be doing now is to create our custom site where to be we are going to be doing all our customizations i don't know that i answered you yes yes thank you thank you, thank you so much so so now uh from my browser here uh, we have our success everything has been installed this is our instance so these are the modules i was telling you are, are, are like core modules you can see all of them are listed here we have accounting assets everything is on this side and then down here we have uh the others which i i said are domain specific so we have agriculture education healthcare manufacturing is again treated like a, like a core module and then we have non-profit and retail this is where we're going to be having things like the pos and stuff like that then here we are going to be doing customizations here we have integrations where we are going to be working with uh, maybe uh, payment gateways and then we have other things here we have users where we are going to be doing we are going to be doing uh, our user we are going to be setting up our users we can set up roles we can set up permissions everything comes uh, loaded in this module here so now looking we have successfully done uh installation of uh frappe framework and by the way before I, I i i come to this let's let's check our database here it's important to keep checking your database to see what is happening uh and see what has happened um well these are 250 tables uh, the, i think this is in page one so if we look at this we have we have like four pages here so we th the total should be around 900 and 900 and something tables that you have and one thing to note which is going to help us a lot when you are developing and trying to access mysql is that every table in erp next is uh has a prefix of the tab this is table tab and then the name of your table so at this point now we can just go to our check box uh, che checklist here and see what next we need to do so i can just open up maybe a few minutes to for you to ask questions and then we can carry on can you check the installed uh, version uh, of erp next and frappy from the, yeah. uh, from the front end front yeah end so and back end. yeah so from the front end how you can do that from the front end let me just go make sure i'm at the home if you come to the help uh up here just next to your to, to your image and click on about you're going to be seeing uh erp next is version 13 this is the developed version like i i, I said and then we have frappe also the developed version the same thing can be checked from your, your your instance here let me split this so that i don't lose our instance then i can increase the font a little bit for you to see so sudo su and then my um sorry uh, erp next yeah i need a space and then i provide my password my password and then opt and then bench and then our app is called training and you can just do bench uh version i think yeah bench version and then it's going to give you uh these other details here the same as we are seeing from the front end So guys, if you have any uh, point which is not clear, it's time to ask questions before going to the next uh, topic. Uh, till now we have uh, completed the installation uh, topic and we have checked that uh, from front end it's up and running the application. Uh, so shall we move to the next topic? So we have uh, 20 minutes left so uh, uh, actually mommy from our list here we can sorry be, sorry guys we have we have covered installation of rape we have covered create, creating a site and we have actually covered installing your p next on a site so the other thing that we maybe we can do is uh uh frappe fields field types which i feel will require require, require almost a whole session mm. 
Yeah, we have covered the first three. So if uh if if we have questions, I think this is a good time to respond to them. Second one, can we use uh, another type of uh, database with Frappy framework like uh, MongoDB or so or some NoSQL data uh, databases? Please. Okay, thank you so much. So, uh, so the first question was, please remember, uh, remind me your first your first question. Is it possible to install in macOS six? Okay, Mac OS 6. Well, um, I'm not very sure about that. Maybe you give me a second to check to check their documentation, or maybe if Mami has a response to that, let me let me let me take in the second question: whether you you yeah. can use Frappe framework with uh, with another DB like Mongo. And the answer the answer more about Mongo the answer is no. Right now, Frappe framework is working with two databases. The first database is MariaDB. That is their default. And right now you can use MariaDB with the Postgres SQL. So we have MariaDB and we have Postgres SQL. But if you want to if you want to use uh, ERP next in your instance, at this point I will advise that you don't go the Postgres SQL way because they have not optimized all the queries for Postgres. So you may be requiring to do to do a lot of work just to make sure that uh, your Postgres uh, instance is running smoothly. But if you just want to install Frappe and maybe build your own application with, on Frappe, then Postgres SQL is, is ready for that. Okay, that's good. Yes. But for macOS, uh, it is not supported, I think, because uh, the, the Linux, Unix uh, OS are supported and best recommended to, to run uh, ARP next. Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you enough. That's welcome. Yeah. Thank you, Karan. Welcome, welcome. Uh, so, any other question, uh, guys? Yeah, Karan. Yes, please. You told this uh, training is uh, for the developers, yeah? Correct. Beginners, there's another developers uh, training. Correct. But correct. what do you expect as a, as a beginner? Uh, what do you expect? What, what uh, knowledge, uh, prior knowledge you should have? to take this course okay uh if if the only knowledge that you need to take the course is basics of python and javascript uh, the reason why you need that is because uh basically uh, erp next and frappe are built on uh, uh python on the back end and then on the front end they have javascript so if you know those two languages you are you are good you are you're able to to pick up and, and move Okay, so we uh, you you need to have a basic knowledge of uh, both, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. otherwise uh, this can't be understood by by the novice guys, yeah. Yes, that's correct. Okay, okay, thanks. Uh, yeah. It's important to have the basics of Python and JavaScript because this course. Can you mute yourself? Karan, yeah. Uh, it's a very important in this session. We will not explain Python uh, syntax or command or uh, code or JavaScript. It is not the purpose of this course. So uh, Karani will go and write code. Like today, we have put comment. It's ready. Uh, you can repeat it uh, at your own. So here, the purpose is not to learn Python or JavaScript. We are going to learn Frappe framework uh, topics straight. So you have you have to know uh, read Python and JavaScript code. Yes, you will get some comments on the given code. What is doing this code? But it is not a lesson or a chapter for Python. So we are clear about this point. Uh, and it is very uh, uh, important to not uh, deviate the agenda of this course. Uh, so, excellent. Uh, so, in, uh, any other question? Yeah, one question. To, de to develop on, uh, on Windows, uh, the, let's say in uh, Visual Studio Code, uh, the, is the requirement
recommended ways to use a uh, Docker. I, I see there's a Frappy Docker GitHub for that. So, well, um, Docker, uh, okay, thank you. So Docker, Docker, for development purposes, you do not need to have Docker, Docker setup. The Docker is used for, for, for deployment because that is just a way of containerizing, container, containerizing your instance, just to make sure that in case you have heavy traffic, uh, the, the application does not handle a lot of things and then start, start failing. So Docker will automatically scale as, as your traffic grows. So for the purposes of development, you do not need to set up Docker. You can just develop uh, it on just a simple environment. And then when you are deploying your application, you can now deploy it using Docker. Or Kubernetes for that, for that, for that matter. Hello. Yes, Karani. Yes, please. Uh, maybe as a follow up to that. Yes. As a follow up to that question. Yes. Um, so, sorry, I joined in a bit. Uh, I, I joined in a bit late, but I just wanted to understand that uh, on your machine, I can see that you are using a HP Pro, uh, Pro Book. Are you currently um, logged into the Ubuntu Linux OS or you are connecting it from a Windows uh, OS and also using the Visual Studio code uh, you know, to connect those, um, um, the, 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 the folders? Thank you. So what I have done here, I, I, I've just pulled out my, my computer so that you can see. This is, this is, this is Ubuntu version 20.04 and this is my directory. So how I have configured this thing, my apps, all my apps are running on the OPT directory. And then here you can see this is where I have bench. And then here I have all my instances. So the instance that we installed today and we are working on is this training one. And therefore from here, I am now able to go to Visual Studio Code and just add a file, just like, like any like any other file that you have worked on, a folder, just click on file and then browse your computer, get it from wherever it is, like now this is this place, and then computer, and then OPT, bench, and then I get my training and open. And that's it. Okay, okay, okay. I mean your, your parent OS you are in locked into Ubuntu or on the Windows? It's Ubuntu. Uh, this is Ubuntu. Okay, you are running entirely on, on Ubuntu on your on your machine. Correct, correct. Okay, okay, okay. No, it's fine. I, I just wanted to find out is it uh, possible, uh, maybe if you're using the Windows 10, the 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 the, 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 the Linux uh, subsystem, and then you can actually connect you know, from a, from a Windows, uh, Windows 10 perspective, whilst, uh, you know, connecting to the, you know, you know, to your Linux, uh, like virtual machine. Yes, Gilbert, that is possible. Okay. Yes. Uh, but um, the, the other, the, the, <laughs> so, so, sorry, mommy, please let me respond to Gilbert one second. The other thing, Gilbert, that you can do is uh, maybe you, you have a, you have a virtual box, on your Windows machine, and then on that virtual box, you, you can install the Linux OS and then run your instance from there. Okay, okay. Yes. And then your development environment can be, can you do it from a Windows perspective or you will be doing it from the Linux uh, perspective? You can do it from Windows perspective. As long as, uh, as, long as uh, the configurations are done on, on Ubuntu, development can be done on Windows. Just like, just like you can, you can, just like you can have your code set up on um, on a remote server, and then you just connect it to your IDE locally, and you just develop locally. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, it is possible. All right, all right. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yes, Karani, I need uh, uh, from you to explain the uh, the folder structure of uh, the installed uh, app in the. Yes. Okay. So, so what we, what we have? Okay. So, thank you. What we have here uh, at the top level, we have our application. 
so application is called training that is the file we had here uh, this is the file that we this is the folder we have here and then the next thing that we have are apps this is the apps directory this is where we are going to be having all our apps installed so as we move along here we have uh, i don't know to create a custom app i think this one we are going to do either tomorrow or the day after where we are going to be creating our custom app this the app that we are going to be creating is going to be listed as one of the as one of the apps here so this is where we have all our apps and so therefore the app that you create is supposed to show up on this directory and then from there our thing uh, next thing is config this is a folder that you may never need to touch this one you will never need to touch this is just uh, for the configurations that are automatically done by the system so most of our work is going to be done in this directory and remember again like i said in our introductory video this is not going to be done on either of these two files uh, you will find the people out there editing these files trying to edit this app so what we have here for instance in erp next this is the name of the app and then when you open it uh, you will always find that here we have an erp another erp next directory this is the name of the module and then when you open that module you see inside there we have all the other the, the, the other the other domains that we have so you have accounts and everything like that uh set up here so for instance if we check accounts we have other things inside there uh and down here you can see we have you can you can have something like uh like people creating their own directory their own files here like when you need to write your own apis uh, you find someone has just created another file here and is trying to put in their API there. We are not going to be doing that. So this is not going to be, uh, uh, an, again, uh, the directory we are going to be working on. All our customizations are going to be done on the app that we have not yet created. We are going to do that maybe tomorrow or the day after. And I said in the introductory video, just to remind you that the reason for that is to make sure that the code you write will not be overwritten by the changes your app next are making so if you have your own app and you uh, you write all your custom code inside of it uh, you don't have to worry anytime your app next releases a new update you can just update your app because it will do its update either on this directory or this one or both it's never going to touch your, your the app that we are going to create then uh closing that that one the other thing is the env the env is just the environment as uh, you know I don't know whether some of you have developed Python before. Uh, Python uh, puts everything in an environment so that we can set up everything that we need for this instance on this environment. So we, we do not need to install everything on our machine. So our machine here may not be knowing. Yeah, for instance, if now I came outside, uh, let me go to my command here and I can split this just for you to see. And then I try to run I try to run bench somewhere here, bench version. This one is not going to be known. It, let, let me increase the font here. You see this one, when I do bench version here, it's the same computer, but it is telling me command bench is not known. The reason for that is because uh, the way these things are structured, the environment uh, folder here or directory is what contains everything that we need from the bench to the everything that we need for our app to run. So we do not need to load our computer with what it does not need. This is what contains what your P next and everything else that you're going to be doing within Frappe requires to work. And then we have logs. This we are we are going to be to be having a system our, our system logs, and then sites. This is another directory that we are going to be touching here and there. Because we will be needing, for instance, when you when you install your app, your apps are going to you are supposed to be listed on the apps.txt file. And then this is your site. This is the site we, that we installed. When you get to the advanced uh, sessions and we see how to set up multi-tenancy, we are going to be working a lot with this directory because we are going to be requiring more sites here and we are going to be adding these sites to our, to our pads. And then here we have assets. This is where we are going to be setting up our CSS, our JavaScript and all that. Uh, when we will be creating our custom pages, I don't know whether, I think also custom pages in is in advanced topics, I'm not sure. So we are again going to be working a lot on, on these two, this assets, assets directory. So, and that's it. The, the other things are just 
just just for the purposes of uh, the system so we are going mostly to be working on the site directory and the apps directory to you mami Karani, so for the purpose of the training, for the attendees, they can uh, redo the steps in their own machines. So they have, uh, whether it is virtual machine, where they will install uh, Ubuntu, and they will try to install uh, ERP Next in their uh, local machines. Next, uh, tomorrow we have a second session, the day two. So if, if you have question before uh, session, we will take uh, five to ten minutes uh, inquiry or uh, problem you face or whatever you can ask before the session to resolve the issues. Or you can send me email. We'll compile all this e email together and we can reply uh, by email. Uh, regarding the exercise uh, of this training, we I discussed this with uh, Karani already. We will take the, the library uh, application, right, uh, Karani? You are right, Bami. Yes. So uh, I don't know. Uh, today you have started by creating the application, which is uh, training, uh, Flappy training. Uh, shall we proceed or we uh, redo the work for uh, library uh, management? All right. So uh, wh what I can do, actually, that escaped my mind. We could have we could have uh, called it library. Uh, I'm just going to rename the app that we have created today to library. So tomorrow we are going to be uh, uh, to be starting with our, our app called library. The other, the yes. other, the other way is maybe the app that we are going to be building here. Uh, we can just call it library, and then we assume that this library is also using an ERP in next instance at the back. Maybe for okay. the purposes of the HR, the, the payroll, accounting, and all that. So we can have our app inside here called library, which is running an ERP instance. Yes. So my understanding now, uh, you explain these folders, uh, Karani, that uh, ERP Next and Frappy folders, we, ha we don't have to touch them, right? Correct. In any case? Yes. Okay, fine. So... So, Karani, I had one doubt. Yes. Yeah, one question, like, um, uh, like, will you be covering in future, like, how to install using Docker or uh, maybe on a server, something like that? Uh, maybe what we can do after we have uh, we have completed both the the beginner and the advanced uh, topics. What we can do after the advanced topics, we can try and uh, deploy. We, we are also going to be covering how to deploy this application on maybe a cloud a cloud instance like AWS or, or whichever cloud. We can also try to deploy the same on a Docker instance. Okay, okay, fine. And uh, the second suggestion which I had is when you are renaming the uh, instance tomorrow to library, just don't do it in the back end, do it when we have joined the meeting tomorrow. So that way we can also learn how you will rename the site. Okay, okay. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yes, for the purpose of this uh, training, we will follow the library management application. It's a custom app, it will be installed with custom doc type and with fields all uh, this exercise already it is uh, exist on uh, frappe documentation official uh, website uh, we are almost done for today's sessions if there is no questions we would like to thank you all for your attendance and uh, mr karani thank you very much if there is no question we should we will uh, shall close the call Is it okay for today? Are you comfortable with the speed of the session, with the voice, with the... Are you facing any uh, issue in this uh, session? Shall we continue in this uh, way? Yes. Excellent.
I, Thank I you. Just, uh, just one suggestion, uh, uh, no, that if, if there is, uh, like, he, he, Karani is referring to his blog. So, if, like, for tomorrow's session, if we know which section of the blog uh, he would... Yeah, I will, I, I will share the blog uh, link, uh, Mohammed. I will share yeah. everything. I will share everything uh, mentioned today. We have recording. We have uh, blog, uh, Karani blog. Yes, yes. I will share it in the separate email. Yeah. So if we if we need to like have a quick look before the, the next session, it will be better so that we will be familiar with what he's saying. Yeah, I recommend uh, highly recommend to redo the steps before the next uh, session, so you have opportunity to ask. If you are stuck somewhere, because without without the practice, uh, it is very hard. You will lose information somewhere. And okay. Any other question? If you don't ask a question publicly or or, or you don't uh, you have comments you don't want to say it uh, publicly send it by email uh, I am very interested to hear your feedback because without whether you are fully satisfied or you are fully unsatisfied if there is no feedback okay. Maybe well, you can send a feedback form for people so that they can respond to it and you'll get the feedback on this session. Yes, good idea. I will do. So. Okay, thank you. Uh, we are done for today. Thank you very much. And see you tomorrow, inshallah. Same time. Same time. Yes. Bye. Thank you, Nelson. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thanks. Thanks, Nelson. Thanks, Karani. Thank you, Karani. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.